Sam and welcome to this week's episode of Rex's Photo Booth Reviews and Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about flash diffusers. We have several different kinds. We're going to take photos with each one. I'm going to show you the results. The first one is going to be the diffuser sock. I love this a lot. This is a sock that goes over the reflector. We have several different umbrellas. We have reflective, shoot through, white, and also we have a softbox. So we have several different types of diffusers. We're also going to shoot with just the flash alone. I'm going to teach you a hack that you can use if you happen to forget your diffusers. The first diffuser I'm going to talk about is the softbox. The softbox works very well, but in a photo booth setting, I don't really like because it's boxy, it's bulky, and it takes a while to set up. In photo booth, we want to be quick and we want to be in and we want to be out. The photos look great, but doesn't look any greater. So we're going to throw this out. The next, we have an umbrella. Umbrellas are really cool, but this is a rain umbrella. It's great for the weather, but if you get stuck at an event with this umbrella, yeah, you're kind of screwed. So we're going to toss that as well. I'm going to go and talk about the three umbrellas that I have that do work and the reflector sock. And of course, my secret hack, the bounce flash. Now we're going to talk about what does work. Right here, the first umbrella is a shoot through umbrella and it's called a shoot through umbrella because the light is going through the camera. So this is what the subject sees. Sometimes I see people make the mistake, point it backwards and try to use it as a, a reflective umbrella. And that's just not going to work. When you shoot through a shoot white shoot through umbrella, the light goes out the back. So make sure you use this properly, but this diffuses the light very well. The second umbrella is this silver umbrella. Definitely reflective. You shoot and it hits your subject. It diffuses it very nicely. The silver adds contrast. It adds high detail. Lastly is we have a white reflective umbrella. And again, we're shooting back at the umbrella. The light is being diffused, spread, makes it soft. This I like for glam. It makes it very soft nice skin, nice uh, soft lines and uh, in the facial features. And then lastly, um, we have the reflector sock. This is probably retains the most light as it's shooting forward at your subjects. And this makes it nice and soft as well. And this keeps the light at full power. So if you have large groups, you're in a very dark room, this works very, very well. Now I'm going to show you how to mount the umbrella along with the flash. There's two ways to do it. One is you could have it on a tripod, which I don't like. It's a tripping hazard. What I really do like is I like to mount it on the shell of my photo booth. And I like to do that with this. A lot of people call this the flash rod. It is not called a flash rod. It's not called the stick thingy. The proper terminology for this piece is baby pin. So if you want to Google it, search it, it's called a baby pin. I also leave a link to this baby pin below. They usually come in sizes of three inch, six inch, nine inch. I, for photography, I think it's better to have it longer so that the flash could sit up higher versus a lower or at, at eye level because that creates shadows behind you versus when you mount the flash high and you're shooting down, the flash is actually on the floor and you don't see it in the photo. So the, we have a 3 8 thread screw and we're going to screw that in there. And just so you know, you can find this on Amazon. I'll leave the link. There's actually a knob and there's a hole on the bottom of the rod. I will thread it through. I will twist it. Make it tight. And now I have my baby pin. Now it's time to mount the flash. I use an Alien Bees. This is one of my favorite flashes. And we're going to mount it going forward. And remember, 
when you have it going forward, there's two diffusers you can use. Don't forget, this is the locking thread, so we're going to lock that tight. We also have the tilt, as you can see. So the first diffuser we're going to use is the diffuser sock. This sock goes over the reflector. It is a seven inch reflector, and this will diffuse or soften the light very neatly. We're gonna set this up. We're gonna take a photo, and I'm gonna show you what the results look like. The next diffuser I'm going to show you is the um, white shoot-through umbrella, which means that the flash is still facing forward towards the subject. We're going to slide it through. Every single uh, mono flash has a hole for the umbrella rod. And again, this is going to be shooting through. Let's take some pictures with this and let me show you what this looks like. You tell me which one in the comments below that you like the most. Yeah, now you saw what that looked like. Now we're going to go to the reflective umbrellas, which means I need to turn the flash around. So I'm just going to loosen the knob, not rocket science. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm going to tilt it up. So again, I want the light to come down at an angle so the shadows are on the floor. I'm trying to avoid the glow with the shadows around my subjects. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that around. I'm going to lock that in right there. And again, I want it at an angle, not at eye level. And we're going to show you what the silver reflective umbrella output looks like. We're going to slide that in there right there and one thing about the umbrellas is that in this case bigger is better and the reason for that is the spread of the light the bigger the umbrella the wider the spread and why do you want that you want that when you're shooting large groups five six seven ten people you have people in the back you have people on the sides. The larger the umbrella, the larger the spread. Let's take some photos with the silver umbrella and let's see what that looks like. What did you guys think of that? Did you guys like the silver reflective look? Let's go ahead and move into the last umbrella. This is the white, and this is a reflective umbrella. We're going to slide this through the chute right there, and we're gonna lock that in. This is pers my personal favorite, but again, all of these are gonna look great. They all serve slightly different purpose. And here's my blanket statement. As long as, I don't care what you use. I don't care if you use a beauty dish, a, a reflective or a um, diffuser sock, an umbrella or soft box. As long as your client is happy and you're getting paid, that's gonna be the best diffuser for you to use.
So let's take some pictures with this white reflective. We're going to do glam and I'm going to show you the output. And I didn't forget about you guys. This is going to be the bonus hack, the ceiling bounce. If you don't have anything else, and this is your last resort to get it done, we're going to go ahead and turn the flash around to diffuse it instead of using an umbrella. This is going to be my reflector. I'm going to bounce it off the ceiling. This is last ditch effort to get the job done. Everything was shot at the same settings and I'll show you the settings in the end. Here we go. This is the bonus. All right, my bonus bonus hack is we're gonna shoot bare bulb. Let's say you forgot your reflector, you forgot your diffuser. All you have is the bare bulb. What we're going to do is remove the reflector. We're gonna keep all the settings the same and I'm gonna show you the camera settings. I didn't change the camera settings. All I did was change the diffusers so you could see the difference between the diffusers. Of course, you can always make the settings to how you like and how your clients like it. But just by keeping the settings the same, we're able to see the differences in the diffuser. So now we're gonna shoot bare bulb. The camera settings are the same. The power settings on the flash is the same. And now we're gonna take a picture and see what that looks like. This is the bonus bonus hack. Ah. Here are the camera settings as promised. We shot this in manual mode with the shutter speed of 1 over 125, an aperture of 8, and an ISO of 200. Now that you see me shoot with the different diffusers, which one do you like? So in conclusion, they all work. They all create a slightly different effect, but the key is to learn the basics in photography. You can change the ISO, you can change the f-stop. You can even change the shutter speed to get the results that you need. I hope you enjoyed the bonus hacks because the bare bulb actually really surprised me quite a bit. But I don't want to suggest that as the answer because it really depends on your environment. Had we had, been, had, we had high ceilings or open, then it wouldn't have looked like that. So please, learn your key camera basics and until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe Rex's Photo Booth Reviews and Tutorials.